Good morning, campers! Hey, everybody! And hey from Oscar. How you guys doing? Long time no see. This is going to be a fairly lengthy introduction, so I'm going to put a time about here somewhere. I don't know where, but it will appear. And that will be when the actual main video goes. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about what's going on and what we're up to. So today is the first day after lockdown in April when you're allowed to go out. So I am off out with Stuart from a Clibby Walks and Wild Camping. We're gonna to go to one of our favorite spots uh, on the Shropshire Hills for a nice hike, a bimble, and a overnight wild camp. Uh, I'm gonna be trying out some reindeer stew, real termat, so I'll show you that. Uh, I've got a new backpack I've been breaking in for uh, four, five, six months, uh, which is the Offspray Exos, um, and that is packed to the gunnels. It's actually woof. But my base weight, excluding water and everything, is right around a little, uh, 10 and a half kilos. Uh, so 12 and a half fully loaded with everything. Uh, one of the reasons we're out today is we are going to be walking in a month's time, God willing, and... Uh, coronavirus willing at the Great Glen Way up in Scotland and that'll be a six or seven day adventure doing almost 90 miles I believe uh, from one side of Scotland to the other so that'll be great fun uh, I've also got a new tent to test out this is a tent I've been after for about four years and I've eventually managed to find one so lockdown has been uh, depressing from the point of view of not getting out and everything, but my kit level has completely changed. I've sold so much equipment. Uh, I even sold my beautiful Phil Raven Nabisco Light 2 tent, which you would have heard me evangelize about many times. But today I am in the, hold on, I'm in the Scarp 1 from Tarp Tent, uh, which has been my dream tent. I have two dream tents, the Scarp 1 and the Phil Raven Abisco Dome 2, which I actually also picked up in lockdown. So that will be coming out very soon. So you're going to see the Abisco today. Complete new cook system. I'll walk you through that as well. Uh, and today is the start of getting fit for Scotland because that is going to be a big challenge to me. Um, I've also got a, a new lightweight puffer coat, which you'll see later and a few other bits and bobs, so I'm gonna go through it all. Uh, one of my subscribers, and I wanna thank every single one of you guys, because you guys are absolutely brilliant. There's almost 700 of you now. But one of my fabulous subscribers has been after a video about fat boy clothing for a long time, because I am a fat boy, and getting the right clothing is quite important. So I have started that. Um, the problem is I have lots, like coats, I've got four or five different coats, so rather than do a whole one of just everything, or I'm gonna break it down into little segments. Uh, so the first one of those videos will be up by the end, well, by next weekend. Uh, this video, well, you're looking at it now, but this will be up by Tuesday. Today is Monday, so I've taken today and tomorrow off. I'm gonna shoot the video and do the video, so very excited. Right, I'm pulling up at Go Outdoors because they're open as well. So excited, you wouldn't believe this, I tell you. So I'm going to go into there and then I'm going to go and uh, meet up with Stuart. So we'll get to the video, uh, check in with you in a little bit. Uh, and if you watch the intro, thank you very much indeed. Uh, missed you guys so much. Glad we're all back together again. Talk to you soon. Bye bye. Right, hello, campers. I'm back. Look who I bumped into up here. There's Stuart. So you may recognize this area. I don't know if I ever actually posted my winter camp where I was in there in a storm, almost got snowed in. So we're about to go for a bit of a bimble. And as we go, um, we'll check in and we'll see you in a little while. I'll tell you what, what's nice about today, the light level means no matter where I turn, there's no harsh shadows on me. So I must look good after all this time. All right, <laughs> check in with you later. I'm gonna have to stop because no image stabilization on this. So we're about 
10 minutes in. There he is. He's doing a piece to his camera. You have to check out Stuart's video. A Clebury Walks and Wild Camping. And as you can see, we are in the middle of nowhere. The other thing I don't know if you can see is it's snowing. You see that? So it's beautiful sunshine all the way up here. As soon as we get out and start walking, it's snowing and it's getting heavier. But we're carrying on. Another new little contraption, air pump, taking this to Scotland. We're also taking a snozzle as a backup, but this thing is so quick. That sounded just like whale song then. <laughs> so, boys and girls, there she is. That is the tarp tent scarp one. Very generously spaced one man tent. Got a weird configuration with the trekking poles. And that white thing's just the thermometer. You'll have a look at that in a minute. Um, beautiful tent. It's got a nice high foot end head end bit of a nice generous vestibule so as you can see down there i'll run you through all of the cooking stuff and then everything like that shortly uh, this is the inside so i've got my ice flame quilt and then under that i've actually got a silk liner and the mat that's under it and then up at the pillow end the obligatory uh, Trekology LF2 pillow under there. So, for tea tonight, uh, we're both having real termat reindeer stew. So, I'm going to be using the BRS stove for the first time. The first time in earnest, actually, out on a camp. And then in the morning, I'm going to be having a cup of coffee using this little filter contraption. Again, tried this at home. It is absolutely brilliant. Uh, that's just my Sea to Summit folding mug. I may have a cup of coffee shortly, actually, because it is getting a bit chilly. Uh, it's got a vestibule on both sides. So on that side, I've got all my cooking stuff and everything like that. And then over on this side, I put my backpack and all of the bags and everything that I don't need. So it's, it's a good one and a half man tent. It is brilliant for one person and all their gear. Um, unfortunately, they're very hard to come by in the UK. I had to order it from America. Uh, I've been after this tent for about three years and had to sell quite a bit of equipment to get it but it's brilliant so this little contraption here um a trekking pole and that goes down to a little tab there that then pulls the inner and the outer apart and you just guy the other end of it down so that is the tent slept in it a couple of three times already i've had it out in well when i woke up the whole tent was iced over i think uh, I don't know if I posted a video of that. Um, I might have posted a few pictures. So, but it is absolutely brilliant. So the reason for this is 
in just over a month's time, Stuart, who is Clebbury Walks and Wild Camping, good friend, one of the Shropshire Mafia lads, Keith Nicklin, uh, another good buddy, doesn't have a YouTube channel, we're trying to come up with names for him. So far we've come up with Tin Man and Shipbreak, but we're working on them. Um, there's stories behind them and you'll find that out when we do it. But we're heading up to Scotland and we're going to walk the Great Glen Way. So this is a bit of a test of all of the equipment for the Great Glen Way because we're going to walk, I don't know, nearly 90 miles, six or seven days and carrying everything on our back. So, right. I'll show you inside the tent a little bit more a bit later. I'm going to uh, get the drone up quick before the light goes because this is the sunset that's coming and it is going to be beautiful. Uh, oh, I need to know where I put my earplugs because it's going to be a snorry night tonight with us too because we are a bit renowned for snoring. There's Stuart in the distance. Give us a wave, Stuart. There he is. Just gobsmacked by the view. It is absolutely beautiful out here today. Anyway, guys, check in with you in a little while. Got to stop saying that. Everybody says that. So that's the BRS going, and that is the real thermat. Definitely looks different to the normal rehydrated meals you get, so we shall wait and see. I'm just going to top this up in a minute and uh, pop it into my bag. I'll talk to you about the bag in a minute. Okay guys. It has been about 10 minutes since I put this in here. So this little bag, little pouch, it's an insulated bag, the size of the meals. So it's insulated. It comes from Quink Craft. Uh, I'll put a link in the description, but it keeps these meals really hot. So, oh. Oh, it smells lovely. It smells like a hot pot of some description. A reindeer one, probably. Oh. Kind of looks a little bit like baby food. But it's got great big hunts of meat in it. Okay, let's see how it tastes. Oh, it's piping hot. I don't know if you can't see that, steaming. Right, so I got this from the Fell store. Uh, nothing to do with the Fell store. As you will hear people say all the time, I bought it with my own money. And although the Fell store sent everybody else in the Shropshire Mafia a free chocolate Kendall cake when they got their meals, I got none in my box of seven or eight or nine meals. But I'm not bitter. <laughs> Stuart's chuckling away. Now, I had cheese on toast for dinner last night. So this next sentence is going to be true. A minute ago I filmed Stuart because he did his five minutes before me. Because he was impatient. But I filmed him and he was tucking into it. And he said this was better than what I had for tea last night. The real Termat meals are on a completely different level, or this one is at least, from any other 
rehydrated meal I have had. This is just absolutely superb. They're expensive. They're about £10, but oh my god, it's so worth it. Mm. And the meat, huge hunks of meat. I can't get over how much meat's in there. I haven't found a red nose yet, but I'm only halfway through, if that. I'm not going to make you sit and watch me eat it all, so I'm going to get up and switch it off now. But, review of the real term at meal. Reindeer stew, my favourite, favourite, favourite camping meal. Mm. Mm. Superb. Absolutely superb. Well, good evening, guys. That has been an amazing day. Yeah, Sorry, mate, I'm just doing a night to camera. I just woke Stuart up, I think. So, yeah, um, amazing day. So good to be back out. Unbelievable and uh, great company. We were talking so much that on the walk up here, didn't even notice it. It was fabulous. Got changed, put on cold sleeping clouds. I'm about to climb into my silk sleeping bag liner and then into my quilt. I haven't got a sleeping bag. I've got the quilt, but I've done the foot box up. So hopefully... I shall stay warm. It's a bit of a test for Scotland. So I do anticipate not being warm warm, but we'll find out. However, as a little celebration, cheers. So, um, met a nice lad. He came up here this evening. Very politely asked if he could pitch his camp. So, uh, lovely young man. So, hopefully he's getting a good night's sleep. It is a bit chilly. When we got into bed, it was 1.8 degrees. So, it is quarter to ten. So, I'm going to put my earphones in, or plugs in, and get straight to sleep. Uh, i got an expedition breakfast in the morning. And then we're going to have a nice cup of coffee. And then we're leisurely going to bimble out of here. We're in no hurry. So I hope you've enjoyed today as much as I have. And again, thanks very much indeed for coming along on the adventures. If you like what you see, just hit the like button. Um, it really does help spread the videos around. Um, if you're not a subscriber, perhaps you'd like to subscribe. But uh, I'll get some more footage tomorrow showing you uh, our trek out, breakfast and everything like that. And I'll let you know how the uh, night's sleep went. Anyway, folks, you have a great evening. Take care. All right, good morning, folks. How you doing? Um, I can't see you because the sun is directly behind the camera. So if I'm squinting or whatever, I do apologize. A cracking night's sleep, to be fair. Uh, was warm and toasty in the quilt. The silk sleeping bag liner does make a difference, but takes some getting used to. Uh, it is just gone 7 o'clock. Uh, was asleep by about 10 o'clock. So, had a great night's sleep. It's a little bit frosty out there. Um, I'll have a look on the thermometer and see what the overnight temperature was in a minute. Not too bad on condensation, I have to say, so I'm very pleased with that. So I'm about to have my put the coffee on, have a cup of coffee. I will show you that thing working, actually. Um, and then have breakfast, and then think about packing up. It's a leisurely morning this morning. So uh, I believe one of the Shropshire Mafia messaged us saying, did we get up to see the sunset or the sunrise? No, we stayed in bed. Like good little boys and girls, that's what we did. Anyway, um, once the coffee's brewing, I'll show you this thing in action. Okay, I'll film all of this and then edit it down later. As you can hear, I've got the gas on the go. Cooking, well, cooking. Uh, boiling the water outside. This, by the way, is my little Swiss Army knife. That's all I carry when I'm camping at the moment. 
if it's this kind of camping. Woodland camping, obviously, different. But it does everything I need it to do if I pulled the blade out and not the nail file. There we go. Oh, ho, 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 the smell of a fresh opened bag of coffee. It says strong coffee. Nice. So you're going to put in a couple of spoons or so of sugar and the coffee. And I'm guessing that's about... Oh, the water's already steaming away. You can't see it, but... There's lots of steam coming out. The pot's bubbling. So what you do... Ouch. It's a bit hot. I'll double up on that. Is... You pour in... Just enough water to let all the coffee grinds absorb some and then they swell and they expand a little bit. Can you hear that? That is the sound of a beautiful cup of coffee being made. And once that's drip through and it blooms as they call it. You just pour it away. So there's camera cameras there. Now that is a thing of beauty. Right, let me put my knife away. I'm going to leave a blade open. Oh, it smells beautiful. It's worth it for proper coffee. Wait in a minute or two. The little sand weighs absolutely nothing and it clips onto any kind of mug, pot or anything. Um, I did buy, this one's GSI I believe, I did buy the Sea to Summit X-Trip which I'll be reviewing in the next few days but it is shit. So that's my little clue to how the review is going to go for it. Absolutely atrocious piece of kit. But this makes... An amazing cup of coffee. If you like filtered proper coffee that tastes good. Okay, welcome back guys. Got to stop saying that as well. So again, Quink Craft Bag. Uh, highly, highly recommended. And in here, what am I having for breakfast? Adventure Foods Expedition breakfast. I've got Jaden on the camera today. So if you oh, come up and have a look at this Jaden. Okay. So full of muesli and all sorts of bits and bobs but it's piping hot because it was in the bag. It took eight minutes. Perfect. And the thing is because the pouch is hot I'm going to put it back in here and eat out of that. See you after breakfast. Here we are, unfortunately, it's that time of the day, all packed up. Stuart's just putting the rest of the last of his bits and bobs on there. So, the obligatory, leave nothing but a divot in the ground where your tent was. So, that was where I was, leave no trace. Jaden's disappeared, a uh, young fella, got up nice and early. Uh, really nice young man, uh, first wild camp it was for him. So hopefully we didn't spoil it for him. We had a fantastic breakfast together this morning. Um, did a bit of drone footage and that's what this is. So if you're wondering, this is a bit of a new addition as well, the chest pack. 
Um, it's a Numbat chest pack from Helicon Tech, I believe. Uh, but I'll tell you more about that later. So that is me all packed up. It is so warm that yesterday coming up when it was snowing, we had fleeces on and were contemplating putting a jacket on. Uh, today I've just got my long base layer and a short t-shirt and I'm contemplating taking the base layer off before we head off because it is sunny and it is beautiful but this is what we've woken up to and it is absolutely glorious so hopefully I've remembered to do more of the video that most people are interested in all the kit and everything because normally I get here I'm so excited I forget to do the videos so I'll be putting this together later but there's no point telling you that because you'll be watching it so you would have seen anyway thanks for coming along for the journey may or may not do something on the way back to the car we'll see how we feel um, but I'll check in at the car anyway um, but for the first one after lockdown it has been more than a success so pleased I will do a thing at the end because I'll tell you how all the equipment fared with the uh, <laughs> Stuart's going off for a whiz. He's going off for the little boys bush. We better go and follow him now. Um, I'll tell you how everything worked, but this was a test for Scotland and it's brilliant, no doubt. Anyway, um, once we've had our nature calls, we'll be on our way. So I'll speak to you in a little bit. Hey guys, we're halfway back. Well, three quarters of the way back, to be fair. Um, we're in a place where you can't really see where we've been but you shift out the way there we go we basically walked all the way around this hill around the corner and away we go as we were coming up there were two lambs that's why we sort of stopped here right where we're stood and they are i don't know if you can see them there with their mother as we came running up they started bleating mum came running up and dragged them away so as i say we're almost at the car so we're going to uh, sign off here it's been a fantastic little walk uh what are those who are those Stu? those aren't fresh people or what's that they're coming towards us. they're coming towards us we've got people coming down so i hope you've enjoyed it guys uh it's been absolutely brilliant uh really enjoyed walking at stewart to my space which is excellent. Um, everything worked out well. And I will do an after this video where I sit down and talk about all the equipment and everything. So look out for that. So we're going to head back to the car and I'll see you guys really soon. Uh, don't forget, if you like the video, like all the kit talk and everything, hit a little thumbs up and uh, give us a subscription. And that way, when the next video comes out, you'll know all about it. Right, signing off. See ya.